Choosing the right setup for running Cisco Business Dashboard, CBD, is crucial for any business that wants to keep its network running smoothly. If you've selected to set up CBD with Ubuntu Linux on a physical server, that is a powerful, secure, and customizable option. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to install CBD on Ubuntu Linux 22.04, next. To start, click the link in the description to go to the CBD support page. Then select the link for the Cisco Business Dashboard and Probe Installation Guide for Linux. You can see that as a prerequisite, you need to have a working Ubuntu Linux environment before setting up the Cisco Business Dashboard. The two links you see on your screen will get you headed in the right direction with that. You may choose to download the Linux ISO or installer file from various sources, but I wanna point out some potential issues you might encounter during the installation process. For instance, you might find that certain packages are not pre-installed, which could lead to errors. If you encounter errors, you may need to execute specific commands to install the missing packages. It's also important to ensure you have downloaded the correct version of Cisco Business Dashboard for Ubuntu. In the support page linked in the description, you will find a tab for the CBD dashboard software download. When you run the CBD installation command sh keyword at the beginning, and then the CBD file name with .sh extension, you might see errors such as 304 curl not found or failed to execute apt get update. If this happens, you'll need to run the apt get update command manually. Additionally, you might encounter a signature verification error due to a missing public key. To resolve this, install the CA certificates using the command apt get install CA certificates. To install curl, use the command sudo apt get install curl, which will ensure the package is installed. If you aren't familiar, curl is a command line tool used for transferring data with URL syntax. If you want to learn more about it, head to the URL listed on the screen. Once your Ubuntu system is ready, you can install the Cisco Business Dashboard. That's where I'll begin part two. Click the link in the description to get started. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.